So the role of counseling by the entire neuromuscular team, but in particular, um, the, by the counseling that can be given by genetics is incredibly important in educating families about um, the natural history of untreated SMA and the potential for it to recur in other children. Um, we have a graphic here that gives us a, a picture of autosomal recessive inheritance. Again, if you have two carriers, each of them have one copy, which is enough for them to be perfectly healthy and asymptomatic, but they will randomly with each conception give one of their um, uh, sets of chromosome 5 to uh, the new child. Uh, so you can see that sometimes in the, with a 1 in 4 chance in the pregnancy, both of them will get healthy chromosome 5s and the child will be unaffected. Also, one in um, four chance with each pregnancy, the child will get the affected or absent copy of um, uh, SMN1 and be a, an individual without SMN1 and therefore an individual who has SMA. Two of the four or 50% of the time the child will be a carrier because they'll get uh, one copy from one parent or the other. And what's difficult for some families to absorb immediately is that this isn't a global percentage. This is the percentage with each pregnancy. So clearly, um, uh, although they consider it very um, unwanted and unfair, there are individual families where the carrier parents have had children with clinical SMA three times in a row. Again, counseling parents is very important and very complex. Um, it also involves uh, giving parents information about potential for future pregnancies in ways where they can either predict or affect whether the um, child would be affected by spinal muscular atrophy with through methods such as um, pre-implantation genetic diagnosis at, with in vitro uh, fertilization. It's also very important to counsel the siblings so that they're aware of um, the potential for the, to, this to be something um, they may pass down to their children, depending on their partner um, and whether they, the individual that they have children with is also a carrier of SMA or not. The American College of Obstetrics and Gynecology now has SMA as a recommended screening for individuals who are undergoing um, preconceptional counseling by their gynecologists or obstetricians. And generally, the approach they take is to screen the um, uh, woman. If the woman is a carrier for SMA, they would uh, screen the partner. And if the partner is not um, a carrier, then there's no concern and they don't take the issue any further with respect to spinal muscular atrophy. However, if the partner is also a carrier, then the genetic counseling and uh, planning for pregnancies uh, can go into play. 